Hello, I'm John Appleton and this is Posture Release Imagery's fourth slideshow, this time concerning the body's dorsal ventral seam. Probably all viewers of this episode, we'll call it, should already be familiar with the location of the dorsal and ventral surfaces of the body, as well as what the healthy and opposing sensations should generally be on those two parts of the body. But what is explored in this slideshow is the borderline between the two basic body surfaces. I suggest that learning to imaginarily exercise the area of your dorsal ventral seam will be liberating physically, emotionally, and ultimately spiritually. On this slide, the value of the dorsal ventral seam to this creature is obvious, and here as well. And even here on the microorganism, all three show graceful locomotion control as a function of the edges or dorsal ventral seam of their bodies. But I suggest that the body's edges are very important to us as well, though they are not visibly obvious, and not only concerning locomotion, but also perception. This bear rug like depiction of the dorsal and ventral surfaces of a generalized four-legged animal shows that the major senses for smelling, seeing, hearing, and touch also lie along the dorsal ventral seam. Perhaps it was that the earliest of organisms, on land at least, needed to perceive, especially well, horizontally around their bodies to sense what to approach, what to avoid, and so forth. As in other slideshows, a short review is useful, even if you are eager for the substance of the show. Spend a moment here reviewing the entire location of the dorsal and ventral surfaces and the seam on humans. I am not an accomplished artist. So to adequately indicate feature changes along our dorsal ventral seam, I need to use a basic symbol or model for the body. You are already familiar with this particular depiction of the dorsal ventral relationship. And this one as well, from my earlier slideshows, websites, and writings. But the illustration just inserted here is the simplest of depictions of this healthy relationship. I think of it as a diagrammatic illustration that visually describes a basic principle of life, perhaps like the yin-yang symbol does. As well. The dorsal surface is depicted as light, expanding, and separating. The ventral surface is shown as tight, contracting, and descending. And along the seam of this illustration is a simple way to show changes to the area of the seam. Stop along the following sequence of slides anywhere you need more time. Because with time, you can come to kinesthetic experience mind-body changes that you will wish to maintain. The first change from this neutral version is here. The dorsal edge wraps around toward the ventral surface and the ventral surface curls back on itself a little. On your own body, anywhere and everywhere along the border between the dorsal and ventral surfaces, you can begin to imagine the same. Perhaps you would be helped to imagine a small section along the seam on your body as a sort of flange or fin that bends one way or the other. Spend some time imagining the feature changes on this slide all around your seam including fingers, eyes, jaw, nostrils, tail, and so forth, and all places in between. Now, endeavor to experience the imaginary opposite, where both of the surface edges are turned towards the dorsal. Go all about the body to give as much of your seam this experience as possible you will notice considerable sensory changes. 
though they will probably not be immediately easy to understand. One version might, in general, feel sturdier or hard-edged, another softer and or lighter. You might notice at this point that there are positive qualities to both changes in different parts of the body. Where it feels positive, you are experiencing the breaking of habit. Next, I suggest you return for a moment to the image and sensations, as best you can, of the earlier change in preparation for the next variation. Okay, here we have the suggestion to imagine that the seam of the dorsal surface curls away from the ventral and the seam of the ventral surface curls away from the dorsal. By imagining so, you are in a sense opening up, metaphorically and sensually letting the inside out and the outside in. This is analogous to the opening of our eyelids and it wakes us up in similar ways as well. Anywhere and everywhere along the seam this exercise may give you a new or long missed experience of aliveness in yourself, even with the eyes. Even with our eyes open we may have the inclination or intention of not seeing or exposing ourselves there. As when our eyes are, for instance, glazed over. Therefore, you can imagine the seam of the eyes opening even when the eyelids are open. The imaginary separating and opening of the seam in this part of the image exercise can be thought of as the peeling back of the dorsal surface from the ventral. It can be very beneficial and enlivening as long as the edge of the ventral surface maintains and tightens its curl back on itself. If this is confusing but interesting, just watch and do it over until it makes more sense. The next few slides I show without much description so that you can make your own sense and image of them. You will notice that only the dorsal ventral seam is altered from one slide version to the next, but the body as a whole maintains its shape. However, I suspect that your own body core will be changed to a fuller, more open posture. On this creature, appearing to be moving, the eyelids, forelimbs, and hindlimbs alternately flap up or down due to tonal changes in the dorsal ventral seam that you have already experienced, I hope. The body shape as a whole remains unchanged. But notice this. As movement or flapping becomes more intense, the core of the body is moved into action and shape change. Let's look at this pattern again more quickly. These last slides are to prepare you for the next few slideshows, which concern whole body wave patterns and their effect on posture and more importantly on personality. So that's it folks. Hope you appreciated the experiences and learned a bit more about your body, structure, sensation, and the mind-body connection. And hope to hear from some of you with comments or questions. Bye-bye.